You're listening to Med School Radio. There are a ton of things that can cause splenomegaly or an enlarged spleen. It's best to group them into five categories, plus a miscellaneous category, so you can have a shot at making a good differential diagnosis. Here are the five main categories along with some examples of disorders that fall into each category. One, infections. Lots of infections can enlarge the spleen, including infectious mononucleosis, tuberculosis, cytomegalovirus, syphilis, malaria, histoplasmosis, toxoplasmosis, trypanosomiasis, and echinococcosis. Two, congestive states related to portal hypertension. Examples of disorders in this category are cirrhosis, portal and splenic vein thrombosis, and cardiac failure. Three, hematopoietic disorders, lymphoma, leukemia, myeloma, and some severe hemolytic anemias. Four, immune disorders like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus. Five, storage diseases like Goucher disease, Neiman Pick disease, and mucopolysaccharidoses. And last, miscellaneous. These are things that really don't fit anywhere else, like amyloidosis, primary splenic tumors and cysts, and metastatic tumors. By the way, don't equate splenomegaly with hypersplenism, which is splenomegaly along with sequestration and phagocytosis of red cells, white cells, and or platelets, leading to anemia, leukopenia, and or thrombocytopenia. To read more, see Robin's 9th edition, page 624.